Hi everybody, Ben from Geeks, and welcome to Adam Wolf. So, I don't know much about this game, but I'm looking forward to playing it. I get a very John Constantine vibe off this guy, you know, got the supernatural detective kind of thing. Um, so I'm really looking forward to playing this, seeing what the kind of story is about. Uh, it's point and click adventure, it's also hidden uh, object puzzles, so there'll be lots of kind of, you know, really hope, I'm hoping with all these games, I hope for complex puzzles and an engaging story. Um, I have been told that this is slightly different to the usual kind of style of point and click um, hidden puzzle games. There's a bit more to it, so it, you, you feel there's a bit more of a, I'm not going to say um, first person shooter to it, but there is just, apparently it is different, and looking at the kind of the trailer for it, it does look very, very interesting. Um, so I can't wait to get started, so let's just get straight into it, shall we? So I've got four episodes, uh, I've got episode one here, The Ancient Flame. Um, I'm going to look to probably break each episode into about 15 to 20 minute videos, um, just to keep them easy, and then I'll try and get them out as soon as possible for you. So let's get straight to episode one, shall we? For a couple weeks now, the city's been plagued by strange fire breakouts. The story's all over the news, but what's missing from the news is that there are people disappearing with each new fire breakout. SFPD is keeping this info under wraps. An old buddy of mine from the force, Marv, asked me to help him out with this case. I managed to identify one of the perps causing the fires. I ended up chasing this pyromaniac through the streets. I chased the killer into a dead end street. He had nowhere to go. Okay, so straight into it. Uh, no, we shouldn't need a tutorial. Uh, got intense focus. We've got a gun. Uh, stop the arsonist once for the San Francisco fires. We've got a map. Oh, okay. Right, we'll go straight to it then. Whoa! Missed me by the skin of my teeth. It's an Adam Driver. No more pulling punches. Oh, this is sweet! Oh, down to the sewers. There he goes. So it looks like it, we can't really do much at the minute. We're just in pursuit of this guy. Whoa. Yuck. Which way did he go? Uh, right? Nope, dead end. There he is. Oh, great. Come on. Oh, we get to pat ourselves out. Ah! He went through one of those three tunnels. Well, which one? Okay, so we've got cloth. Okay, sure. Okay. Um... Oh, can we, oh yeah, can we pry that? No. Um, what? Yes, we can. There we go. Guessing that, yeah, because it'd be too hot to touch. Whoa! There he is. Freaking fireballs. Okay, no, not that way. Not that way. Oh, interesting. Right, let's go through. <sighs> I hate closed spaces. Oh, no way, we can take damage. Although I don't see a health bar, so maybe it's just superficial. It just kind of prevents us from progressing to the next bit. But I am liking this, it's really interesting. Chamber of Secrets. The is broken. Oh my god, Jimmy is possessed. Burn. Oh my god, no he's not, he's spawn. Uh, where's the gun? Quick, shoot him, shoot. Oh, he blocked me. Bastard block. Whoa! <laughs> Three Stooges-esque. Zoink. Shoot him, quick. Boom, look at that, bang. 
as the burning monster fell to the ground. I had this gut feeling I just couldn't shake. Look, all these dead this bodies. This guy was a mere pawn. I mean, that is the Chamber of Secrets. He was behind the fires, all right. Oh, but look at him. him. Just turning back to normal. This is not over. Ooh. All will burn. So, was he possessed? What the hell was that thing? It's a name tag. What's that? It's a card. Sounds rude. We should call Marv and fill him in. Hey, dude. Adam. Oh, what's cool. The status? Split screen. I got him. Whatever that guy was, he was no ordinary human. I guessed as much. That's why we called you in on this one. Supernatural is your thing. I'll send a team to your location to set up the scene. Go home, Adam. You did good. Fair enough. Guess I'll go home then. Marv was pleased. Me? Couldn't shake off the feeling that the fat has hit the fire. There was nothing more I could do that night. Oh, I <sighs> love this. I love the comic book panels. Sleep would bring me little comfort. I knew the nightmare that was waiting for me all too well. I'm I'm totally on board right now. Night. I can't begin. Like, if you could see me right now, my face is like beaming with a massive smile. I'm really excited to play this game. And there she was. My sister, Allie. So, this is our missing And a disappearance sister. which keeps haunting me. In my dreams, I'm reaching out to her. She always slips through my fingers. So I wonder if this is kind of the main, like, over the episodes, like trying to find our sister, and we're going to get little clues in each episode, and the final episode will be fully about trying to get her back or something. Maybe. Something wasn't but right. Things were not where I left them last night. I had a visitor uh, while I was asleep. A crow? In a visitor that's, that's who left right. clues. Oh, cool. Straightforward. Oh no. Oh come on, all the mini games. I'm loving it. Uh so I've got to work out the sequence. Uh features in the umbrella, very muddy, barely visible or muddy. So maybe they came through the door, not the umbrella over. Looked in the Or Yeah. Came through the door, not Oh wait, unless it goes by these. Yeah, so there's more mud to the less mud. Fair enough. Uh, the movement pattern indicates something. Let me try my mental dream. See anything. Can I check it out? Hmm. Nothing seems out of the ordinary here. But I'm sure the thief tampered with. Well, my visitor oh, left a package for cool. me. Oh, that's cool. Hidden. The moment I held it in my hands, I simply knew this will change everything. So. UV. A watch. Why would someone Snake. leave me a watch? Tell you. Chamber of Secrets. Mm. That's a strange symbol. What could be a Necronomicon? So what's this? Fingerprint kit. Ah, so I need the UV lamp. Kit is complete. There's some marks on the paper. Uh, oh, can we trace it? Yes. And this is going to give us the time that for the new watch we've got. Three twenty, on the wrapping paper that came with the watch. See, <sighs> this can't be a coincidence. It's definitely not a coincidence. So can we use the watch? It's like Doctor Strange telling the time. So do I just set it to 320? What in the name of... Oh, just another um, minigame. I love it. Um, so where's the door? Or do I just... Oh, I can just click it. Okay. I just thought because the other two you had to move things. So. 
No way. Do you think that looks like a female? Female form? Maybe. Wait, could that be her sister? That was intense. I saw... I saw the past. 320. Allie, my sister. Mm. This is where I kept track could of her case. Could they been a sister, do you think? All these years and still not oh, any Oh, it could have just been like a generic her. kind of lighting shadow. Okay, so that's... Always. That's the last picture of Allie and me. Before she disappeared. A photo of her apartment. The way nice I found it after she went missing. What's this? I know this file like the back of my hand, and this wasn't here before. Someone left a message for me. Oh, so the person who broke in. Zakat. Added this. That name rings a bell. Oh, because we've got that down there. Zakat Gallery. Oh, it's a gallery now. This. Okay. this place was definitely worth paying a visit. But, first things first. The visitor had to have left Ooh, fingerprints tether. on the paper. Slash somebody. Uh, fingerprints on the paper. Oh, CSI all of a sudden. Loving it. Uh, I guess take the lid off and dust. Then we'll UV it, find the print, and then we'll tape it. Yes. There we go. UV. No prints. Gotcha. Ah, uh, there we go. Get some scotch tape. Oh, nice. I'll take a photo of it and send it to Marv. He can run it through the database. I'm going to get a photo. Oh, genius. Hey, Marv, I got a favor to ask. I just sent you a partial fingerprint. Can you run it through your database? Sure, but it'll take some time. Any suspects we should focus on? Nah, I got no idea who might belong to, but just run it against everything you've got. Okay. I'll send it to forensics and call you when I have something. While Marv works his magic, I'm off to investigate this gallery. What's this? Okay. Slip. Load of junk. Oh, it's. There's Ali's business card. Genius. I remember how proud so you okay. uh, Where's me list though? You usually get a list of things. Oh, wait. My old cell phone, still in oh. working condition. It's the, a metronome. A musician's best friend. Because usually, if you've watched any, stay on beat. Uh, if you've played any game, uh, hidden puzzle games yourselves, you usually know that if, there's like a list of things you have to find. And if you watch any of our Let's Plays of like The Nightmare, uh, Nightmares from the Deep, or Hope Lake, that's the same thing. You get a lot of objects and you have to do your list and you have to like tick them off. Whereas this, it's he's actually telling us. Allie made what this straw man for. statuette when we were kids. This photo of Allie is a few years old. She Princess disappeared Jasmine. shortly after. This veil is a memento from my first case as a detective of the supernatural. Gold yeah. Medal of Valor. It was the high point of my this looking glass was a present from Marv when I was made detective. I mean, is that Brum? That is definitely Brum. And is that pineapple on that pizza? Because if it is, forget the flies. That's the most disgusting thing about that. Pineapple should not be on pizza. I gave up smoking years ago, but I still keep this lighter. You never know. Wow, it's been ages since I played any games. Oh, my comic book collection used to be huge. But most of it was sold to pay the bills. Hey, my old police badge. This actually might still open some doors. I've got a police badge. Fair enough. Um, so by the looks of it, yeah, so we've got to go to the art gallery, and I don't think I can do much else here. It's my pet raven hubris. <laughs> okay, sure. Um, so I'm going to leave it there, short one, but yeah, this game has the feel like it's going to have a lot of potential. Like, I'm really excited. Um, I'm liking the, uh, the varied gameplay styles. Um... And it's just, it's just got a vibe about it. It's just got a special little, little feeling that I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, 
I'm digging it. So thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.